What's up guys, Uncle Spagan here, and today we are playing as Elise in the jungle. And I uh, realized when I was looking through my, you know, my, my videos earlier, that I had actually not made an Elise video for you guys in just about two years now. So, with Elise coming back, um, becoming a stronger pick right now after they buffed her again, uh, they buffed the... Let's see, they buffed the damage on her spiderlings, they buffed her damage overall, um, I believe. Um, fuck, what else did they buff? They buffed the early duration of her stun, so that's also very good on, or, uh, on her own, or on its own. And, they also, um, you know, they also put Runeglaive in the game. So Runeglaive is a good build. Cinderhulk is a good build. Either way you go, you're not wrong. Um... And I'm not sure which build I'm going to be going for this game. It will kind of depend on how we do at the very beginning. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, we are playing with Nex and then a bunch of fans. Because I didn't really... I don't know. Everyone was just in the chat room and I was just like, Alright. I'll play with you guys. So I went ahead and invited some of them. We are actually running the wrong runes, by the way. Um, <laughs> I was trying to make a new mastery page which kind of backfired on me because I didn't really realize I had seven seconds left before the game started, but I did get the master page made in seven seconds, but then I had my 80 carry runes on still, and I didn't get to change those. So, we will be uh, chilling with that. Usually you do start with W on this Elise game, or on this uh, on Jungle Elise, so let's go ahead and just throw it right here and get right into this. I'm going to go ahead and auto this guy and... We'll just keep on chilling. It looks like my spiderlings are taking most of the damage, so thank you, little uh, spider friends. And we will see what we can do. So go ahead and grab the Q, of course, and then we'll throw, let's see, just like this. Bloop. There we go, and jump on the red. Get our potion ticking, and see how this goes. Now, with my runes and masteries being as shit and incompatible as they are, um... I'm not exactly sure just how well this is all gonna go. We'll try our best, of course. We'll try our absolute best, of course. But um, I cannot make any guarantees for the early clear or anything. So I'm gonna do this blue buff real fast, and then we'll see um, where to go from there. Obviously, when you're playing Elise, there are just little things you can do to try and increase your uh, clear time. Such as, you know, the little things like staying in um, spider form for a majority of the time while you're running in between camps. Little things like that that will actually help you because when you're in spider form, you actually do get the increased movement speed. Um, that's one thing that a lot of people, for some reason, totally forget even. But let's go ahead and just throw the cocoon on this scuttle crab right here. And we'll go ahead and kill him real fast. That should be... A very easy uh, gank right there, and Vi actually has not even come to a red yet, and with the ward on it, this could be good. Whoa, it's looking like this could be a good gank here, too. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop into human form right here, so I can be ready to cocoon. It looks like that will be the ignite coming out, and let's go ahead and just do some damage here, get these auto attacks off. Let's go ahead and just spider cure first blood coming in there, and that will be that. So if you guys didn't see what we were doing there, basically, Diana did just decide to take forever, <laughs> or not forever, but she did decide to sit there and try and, um, you know, just constantly throw all this shit out to avoid me. And let's go ahead and just throw that ward there. Um, I think Vi warded this herself, so that's probably why the red went flying at me like it did. And just by doing something as simple as that, caused her to back off. So, gain the first blood will be very good for us. Let's go ahead and grab... I think I'll grab a chilling smite here and then I'll grab some boots. Yeah, sure, that sounds good. We'll go ahead and grab pink and another... I'm just buying a shit ton of potions right now. Because I feel like that will um, actually help me out in the end. Because I'm going to be trying to gank a lot right now. Because... Elise does have very, very strong early ganks. Like, very strong. Granted, if I gank Diana, that does not mean a secured kill right now. Because of the fact that, um, you know, we did not bust her flash when we ganked her earlier. We did 
you know, take her life, but we did not bust her flash. So let's go ahead and just smite this for the, um, the little raptor buff. A very useful buff because it does help you um, spot wards whenever you are trying to gank. Let's go ahead and throw this cocoon out. Do as much damage right here as we can. That'll be a good amount of damage off on her. The chain will not land, and there will be the Q from next. So a lot of damage going off on her right there. And wait. Whoops. All right. Well, if she goes for that, I can try and uh, cocoon her. So I accidentally... <laughs> I actually didn't even mean to drop that pink there. I was trying to... Um, trying to use my mana potion. So that's awkward. But let's see. If she goes for this... That could be good. She's not going for it. Come on. Go for it. Do it. Do it. I'm baiting you. Come on. Come on. Alright. Wait. Eh? And... Yeah, brother! There we go. Let's go ahead and get that off. There will be the chain. And baboosh! That will actually... Work! <laughs> I can't believe that actually just worked. Alright. Well, that'll work out. Um, spectacularly, because, I mean, I totally planned that. That was, that was exactly what I had in mind the whole time. Um, and let's go ahead and get the Scuttle Crab real fast. And see what we can do. We do not have mana anymore, so what I do want to do is go back into fighting the jungle minions. Because, I can actually get a bunch of mana back just from, uh, actually, you know, fighting the minions. Uh, sounds kind of weird, because it's like, oh, you get, you know, mana back for fighting. But as you can see... Just by getting into combat with the jungle creeps, I'm gaining 5 mana a second. Which adds up very quickly. So I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to stay in spider form. Um, and I'm just going to try and sit here and clear these just a little bit. You know, get some experience, get some levels. And we'll be able to run back out here in just a moment. So already gotten 2 kills off in Nexus lane. That is good for us. Let's go ahead and drop the Q here. And then we can go back into this form. Uh, fight it just a little bit more. Grunkalunk gonna go down. Go ahead and get a third point into our Q. I would try and gank. Oh wait, it's, is that AP Nasus top? All right. We might be able to gank it then if he's not going AD. But let's see. All right. So there's a big wave piling up here. I can try and do something here. Yeah, let's go for it. So I'm just gonna walk up behind him. It looks like we will get this cocoon off. And let's go ahead and just drop into the spider form. That'll be his flash. And there's some damage off on me. But there goes his ultimate, so let's go ahead and just jump on this guy, because apparently he wants to duke it out. Now let's go ahead and get this cocoon off right there, that could be Boosh, that's going to be the kill. And, I am sorry, Dr. Mundo, might have been better if I was able to just secure the kill myself, had he been a little careful, but we still will get the kill, and I am going to try and shove this lane out um, real fast, just to try and see if we can make Nasus miss some stuff, but that will be another kill for me. Let's go ahead and use the W's and auto attack reset. And actually, with uh, all these minions going down to us, fuck, man, we're not going to be able to get it in time. Luckily, though, at least Nasus did teleport. So he does not have the teleporting pressure around the map. And we will be able to get out of there, no problem. So, with the advantage we built early already, let's go straight for this rune glaive. It looks like they already, all right, so Vi did the right thing. Saw me top, saw me getting the successful gank off, they go straight for the dragon. That was the absolute 100% right thing to do. Um, because they know, obviously, no jungler, I can't contest it. So, right thing to do there for them. Uh, once Sona is 6, I'll probably have a better time ganking bottom, but I have chosen not to gank bottom in the first place, due to the fact that they have a Tom Kench as their support. And the reason that, you know, made me decide not to gank bot lane in the first place is because if I cocoon uh, Jinx, Tom Kench just eats her and, you know, walks out. If I cocoon um, Tom Kench, chances are he's probably just going to tank it and get out. So let's go ahead and just walk over here. I am going to walk this way. I know the minions saw me. Um, I'm not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and kill this pink real fast. Sona's got it. I'm going to go ahead and cocoon this. We do have Vi right next to us, so I'm going to ping him to be careful, because I do know Vi is right over here. Where are you? Where are you? Woo! That will land! And let's see if that's going to be some good damage right there. Draven coming in, and whoop! Yes! I'm going to flash out of this, and get my wow! 
That was a little close. Sona probably just saved my ass there. So, two kills going down there, and we did see the uh, Vi coming, so we were able to be in the right place at the right time. But we did uh, definitely... I thought I was going to die, but then apparently with me repelling and Sona saving my ass, we were able to, well, do, do the not die thing. So good job, everyone. And let's go ahead and see if we can get Vi's red real fast, because if I kill it fast enough, I think I can get this. I think I can get it in time. But 2-0-3 so far, 100% kill participation. We're doing a great job. Let's go ahead and throw the cum shot right there and drag this. Maybe? Alright. You know what? I just gotta do this as fast as I can. So let's go ahead and just... Uh-oh. Oh, oh damn it! Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over here. And maybe I can just recall right here. Think it's gonna work? Eh? Eh? Bitch! <laughs> damn it. <laughs> damn it. So I was really hoping that if I just waited... I would have been able to get out of there in time. That was very iffy. I should not have used my smite on my blue buff. Um, if I had smited my red, or her red, I may have been able to get out with the heal, or I may have been able to stun her and just walk out. I was very hesitant to try and run anywhere, other than just trying to recall. Due to the fact that they had, you know, their mid laner back, Nasus was already running towards me, you could see it on the map. There was just a lot of issues going there, but I really need a drink. So much better. Much better. That was a very, very greedy play, honestly. Uh, more than anything else, it looks like the Jinx ult will also or will be picking up the kill on the top lane. So I'm actually just going to run up there. I know Vi doesn't have her ultimate. If they try and dive me, I can just repel out of danger. But with um, next coming up towards this area, we should be totally safe. Let's go ahead and just auto this guy. Um... I don't know where what's his face is going or Vi. So there it is. It looks like next we'll throw the chain. Barely miss. And maybe we can get in here. I'm coming, next. I'm coming. So let's see. It looks like Vi is trying to do stuff. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> and she ults the wrong one. So let's go ahead and drop this cocoon right there. That's going to be some good damage. Drop the chilling smite. She is going to try and duke it out with me, but she will lose. And let's go ahead and... Yeah, that's going to be picking up the kill with the repel over the wall and easily taking her life. So let's go ahead and kill this scuttle crab real fast. And holy guacamole. Elise's early game damage is through the roof. But let's see. Dragon's up in a minute. I did not... Or I did not... Um... Slot my trinket like a noob lord. This scuttle crab will not be going down for me. So I'm just gonna, well, I might as well drop a ward down here while I'm, you know, down here for them. So let's go ahead and grab this pink real fast. Um, and maybe, oh wait, Jinx doesn't have a BF sword? Alright, well, if Jinx doesn't have a BF sword and Draven does, I'm just gonna walk into this bush down here and see if I can fight them. Because if I can get in here. Um, unnoticed. Jinx with her Berserker Greaves and Pickaxe will not be able to stand up to the BF Sword Draven. So let's see this. Alright. And whoop! Drop the cum shot. Will not land on the target, but let's kill this Tom Kent real fast. Because he is not going to be getting out. He is a dead man. And let's see. It looks like the Crescendo landing. I'm very dead. I am very dead. So my apologies for not seeing them all coming down. Looks like that will be one kill. Draven will... Oh, the stand aside! Oh my goodness! The heal will save him! And so far, a 1 for 2, because Diana got so greedy, missing the Lunar Crescent, whatever thing. Next, will he be getting it? There's the ward. There is the Q and the killing spree for next, bringing him down. And that will be the first kill that I'm actually not in on this game. So, a bit of a bummer there. But honestly, all things considered, that was still very good. Because um, a 3 for 1, where we got outnumbered originally, due to the fact that I just simply was not paying full attention. I did not look at mid lane before I went in on that. I did not look to see if they were coming down. Um, 
So just overall my own personal mistake right there that I should have been paying more attention. But let's see if we can get this. I forgot to switch my trinket again. I kind of do that a lot when I'm sitting here, um, you know, not fully focused. But let's go ahead and kill this dragon real fast. Should be able to do it very easily. Um, we do have Bard here, so as long as I can just, uh, well, keep this up. So, there we go. Just going to go ahead and do that. And, wait, why don't I just kill this guy? Why don't I just kill this guy? And, oh. Oh no! Ugh. Damn it! All right, whatever. She's dead. <laughs> the flash over the wall, and Diana's not doing shit. There's Sona's flash over the wall. That'll be yes, more assists for us. Wait, will he be able to get it? No, he will not. And Nasus was actually down here too, so Nasus will have been brought down here. I don't know if Mundo will be able to get this top turret. Hopefully, we'll see. But let's uh, let's find out. So. We did get that dragon there, that is good uh, as well. I'm not sure what item I want to build next, I'm actually just not going to buy anything. Damn, that spirit fire damage. Is is he maxing spirit fire first? All right, well, let's go ahead and just look at all that damage there. We did get the dragon indeed, so very good um, on that. I got two more assists, totally worth my death. Um, and now that we do have the full penetration... I'm going to be doing a lot of damage right now. I would be doing a lot more damage even if I was actually running the right runes. So let's not forget that I'm actually still running the wrong runes this game. Um, but it's not all bad. It is not all bad. I'm just going to grab these buffs here. Um, I think I'm just going to take the blue myself. Unless next, next, do you need blue? Because if he doesn't need blue, I am just going to take it myself. Um, never mind. He totally can't talk right now. Okay, well, he died. So, I guess I'll just take it. Uh, looks like my spiralings will come get it. I'm on my way. Pin to him that I'm coming. So just pin to him to try and run down here if he can. He did drop that. Let's go ahead and just drop the cum shot in her mouth. And there we go. Whoop! That's gonna be one kill right there. No, I said one kill right there. And then drop the chillin' spike. Q right there. Double kill. Easy double kill. And that will be a good pickup. Let's go ahead and shove the rest of this out. Drop the W. Oh, man, that will not be picking it up. But let's get all of these. Kill this tower real fast. And that will be more good stuff going down. Let's see if we can drop a peek at her red real fast. Because she's actually dead this time. Oh, it's up. This is going to be my red, I mean. So when I say her red, I mean my red. So let's go ahead and just grab this. This time you can't stop me, bitch. So that's going to be my red buff. Taking that as I go. Let's see. So I, I'm going to actually go into human form right here. Um, just because I wanted to make sure that I would be ready to uh, turn on Diana if she was around that corner uh, trying to stop me from doing the red. So I'm actually going to come in here. Here I come. Let's do this. We can fight them for sure. And I don't want to do that. But here comes Sona. This will be some good stuff. And let's see it. All right, dropping some good damage here. That will be it. Drop the chilling spike. Drop the auto attack. And the cum shot will land. And let's go ahead and wait. Don't eat me. Oh, wait, but Tom Kench has eaten the Vi. Tom Kench trying to tank it out. And it will not matter. So let's just keep chilling here for a second. It looks like we're going to have a little standoff in the mid lane. And... Ah, why? Of all things, why? All right, whoa, next doing a lot of damage. Come shot, going to drop in her face and her mouth all over the place. And kaboom, double kill. Spiderlean picking it up. And let's see what we can do. Let's see what they're made of. 3,000 gold right here, too. So just dropping that Spiderlean pain. And let's just keep on the chilling. Keep on the chilling. So it looks like the blue is up as well. So... Maybe... I don't really... I don't want to repel over there. Um, so let's see if we can get this for next real fast. And boop, there we go. Just let him pick that up. And it looks like Nasus is around the corner here. So he did ward that, but I think I was in the bush before he did it. Either way, though, we're just going to go back. 3,200 gold right now. It looks like Nexus is going to be taking some damage. Throw the cum shot. Totally miss. What are you doing, Tom Kench? What are you doing? All right. 
Aha! Uh oh. No! <laughs> All right. Well, that will um, be a bit of a shame. Let's see. Can I get this whole Rylize? Is that a good idea? I'm not sure if this is the best idea. Because I could get an Abyssal Scepter. Um, are they doing any magic damage, really? A little bit. But it's a lot more physical than these two. Um, I think I'm going to get Frozen Heart. Because this will actually help me a lot. Because it will give me a bunch of armor for them. It will give me the CDR um, also for them. Now let's go ahead and sell this this and I will also be going for the Rylize here but Frozen Heart is a very good item it looks like they were able to get the whole Baron that was a very fast Baron good lord <laughs> that was a ridiculously fast Baron holy shit all right good call on their part but um, either way gonna get this uh, Frozen Heart 20% CDR right there can't go wrong with that it'll also give me a hundred armor and a bunch of mana um, so after I get Rylize, it will be much more useful. And let's see, Dragon is up in three seconds. So I'm glad Sona said something. I was not paying attention to the Dragon Timer. But <clears throat> that is A-OK. -okay. So after I get Rylize, I think I'm going to finish uh, Lyandry's up. And we'll go ahead and just see if we can... Maybe we should be able to get this uncontested. If we're quick enough, yeah. We can do this uncontested, so let's go ahead and just kill it like that. And let's go ahead and drop the cum shot right in her mouth. And that will be, uh-oh, the Vile Ultimate coming in. Not gonna matter, we have to get out of here. There is no fight in this. Let's go ahead and just keep on turning cum shot as we run away. And it's looking like that will be the ult from Jinx, but that is okay. So one death on our team for the dragon uh, will actually be worth it, honestly. So, I will definitely take that. I think I'm going to be losing my red here, maybe. Unless they're not going for it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eh. Actually, I should be fine to get this. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop the cocoon right there. Yeah, Diana ran away. So this red's mine. Go ahead and take that. I guess she didn't get vision of it or anything. So, that is good for us. Looks like the bot lane turret will go down. Um... This next one. This ooh, next got a Medjay eyes. Ooh, ooh. Maybe we can kill her. So let's go ahead and see here. Bloop, bloop. And bloop. all right. So it looks like that will not be the chain landing. The cocoon not gonna land either. And let's go ahead and just turn right here. It looks like we could try and do this. All right, never mind. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And next. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, that was a very obvious bait due to the fact that she was just getting out of there. I'm just going to back off of this right now. Throw the cum shot. He's going to avoid it. But obviously, I'm not going to sit there and try and do that blue right now. That will not end well for me. Um, maybe I think I'm just going to get the or a Giant's Belt right now for some more HP. I really, really... I, think <laughs> I have to get a Void Staff. Um, like, MR, 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 MR. I have to get a Void Staff um, if I want to do any damage. And with my build, damage is the only thing I got. So as soon as I get this Rylize, I 100% have to get a Void Staff. Next should be getting a Void Staff too. Mundo, we need Mundo to get very tanky. And Draven um, definitely needs some more items as well. So, alright, there's going to be the Cocoon right there doing as much damage as we can. Sadly, I am a utility jungler I cannot do a whole lot here so let's just see throw another spider lean right there and we are doing as much as we can but it will not matter um, wait maybe the co or the cocoon will land so let's go ahead and just see blue that's gonna be a shutdown right there and let's see maybe uh oh oh those chompers dude will slow me down but they will not stop me so let's go ahead and flash cocoon that will land and that's gonna be one kill and wait no I said one kill shaboom chilling smite for the kill and come here bitch that's gonna be the triple kill picking up four kills for me right there will be super good just chasing them all down and bringing them to the ground and that will be very good for us um, or at least me 
So great, great job, me. Uh, pick, <laughs> picking up four kills there. And that'll actually allow me to have the money to pick up my Void Staff, I believe. So look at that damage. I am just going to drop down now. I'm not too... Oh, wait. Okay, I'm not afraid of Tom Kench, but I am afraid of the Vi. So let's go ahead and just keep running out of here. Um, wait. Wait. Stop it. Hang on, we can talk about this. Hey, come on. Come on. We can talk. I don't want to talk. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. All right. Yeah! Oh, no! What are you doing there? Son of a bitch! <laughs> what is he doing there, man? All right, whatever. I'm just going to pick up this Void Staff now. I'm not even going to finish the Rylays yet. The Void Staff is way too important for me right now. But we will get that bot lane turret. Next, we'll pick up a kill on Tom Kench. Getting two Magi stacks back, so almost making it uh, back to the baseline of worth. But that was good. So 13, 5, and 9. We are in 22 of the team's 24 kills now. So that is a very, 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 very good number to have as far as kill participation goes. That is ridiculously good. Um, we are trying our best here. So... Baron, yeah, what Dr. Mundo just said. I was just looking at that because I was sitting there thinking to myself, they must be up soon. Um, and both of them are up in a minute. And I forgot to switch my trinket again. I need to try and remember to do that. Ideally, I would get the sweeping um, sweeper, whatever, with Oracle's lens because that would be... You guys ever just do things that don't really click in your mind? What? That didn't land? But that was definitely one of those times where I kind of did that without thinking to myself that I was doing that. So let's see. Ba boom! Yeah! 300 damage. Good job, little Spiderling. I'm proud of you. So let's see. My red's going to be up in 30 seconds. Um, yep. Gotta kill Jinx. And then Diana, actually, even though she's 4 and 8, she is still a problem. Um, so I need to try and do... I have to try and kill Jinx. Um, if I can get her, like if I can catch her myself, I can kill her. And I really need to try and do that by any means necessary. Because um, if I can actually get that catch successfully, that is going to be massive. Because she is huge for their team right now, and I should be I should be able to kill her um, in one spell combo. So they're probably gonna go right for the dragon. We could try and stop this. There's not a lot of stopping it. Wait. Oh, very close. I feel like Nex, if he had just like spammed the or the uh, ultimate distortion, he would have been able to actually get the dragon there because she missed. Let's see. Look at that damage right there coming out with the Q. It looks like this will be some good damage. There we go. I'm gonna jump over this wall and let's see what we can do. Oh, a huge crescendo coming in. Let's go ahead and just keep up the gum shots and shaboosh. Wait, this could be... Uh-oh. Wait. I don't have the... Q! Q! Let me out! Oh, come on! Oh, no, dude. They're so low. They're so... Wait. Some of our teammates are so healthy still. <laughs> All right, it's okay. It's whatever. Dude, I misplayed that so badly. That's such a shame because they were so low too. But I'm going to be able to get these home guards real fast. Um, next is full health now. So hopefully, maybe, you will be able to get that kill on the Jinx. Good job, next. We'll be able to pick it up. And now, suddenly, it's not bad. We can try and actually rush Baron. We can try to rush Baron. Because if we all rush there right now, uh, we might be able to get this. It's an iffy call, but I think we can do it. Because I know I can outsmite Jinx or Vi. I know for a fact that I can. Um, and as long as I can do that, that could be good. So all of us are going right here. Obviously, she's going to ward it. Um, but we need to try and do this pronto. Because if we can just do this, yeah, this is good. This is maybe good. This is maybe good. All right, kill this guy. Kill him. Kill him. Turn on him. Turn on him. There we go. Whoop. I'm going to go ahead and just jump on him here. Kill him, and let's see. That will be the immediate jump off and killing of him. Oh, yeah, in my face, brother. So let's see. It looks like she will not be coming on us there. 
But, see, this is not all bad. I know it seems bad because I'm so low and we did not get the Baron. But the fact of the matter is, we still got a catch off on Tom Kench. And as long as I can just home guard back in, um, we can keep on trying to get little catches out and bait people like that. So that can be very, very good still. So 14, 6, and 11 here. This game is ending up being a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. And while I'm here, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and do that real fast. Real fast. So they did definitely get the Baron because we have no vision on it and everyone was mid for some reason. That was really bad. That was really bad. Um, <laughs> there's just nothing else to say. That was really bad. With a Nasus, you pretty much always have to keep an eye on Baron. Um, due to the fact that with Nasus's ult, um, if they even use it, but with how big their AD carry is and Nasus's ult, um, they can melt Baron. I mean, absolutely melt it. So let's go ahead and just totally miss that. Um, I guess we have to try to defend mid. This sucks so much. This is not good. <laughs> we have to wait out there, Baron. We have to try and do a lot of things right now. Um, our Draven is not big. Our LeBlanc is getting big, but is still not big. It looks like Mundo still doesn't even have a Spirit Visage. And his only armor item is a Sunfire Cape. Like, he is not super tanky himself yet. This is going to be a struggle and a half. So it's like we got Vi coming in here. Draven is going to go down. The cum shot will try and land right there. Next, going to be doing as much damage as he can. And let's see it. Maybe I can do this. Where am I? All right, there I am. Let's see if I can get in here real fast. Throw this out. Will not land. Let's drop the chill and smite right there. Maybe. All right. Whoa, the turnaround burst. Let's go ahead and turn on them. And let's see. Flaboo. And uh-oh. Oh, yes. All right, I got Jinx. And this should still be, this could still be good. Nex is still alive. Mundo is ulting. He is getting health back. I don't think Nex is, no, there's no way Nex is going to be able to get to him in time to try and get that. But, 3 for 3, oh, and we lost a turret. But usually a 3 for 3 is not bad. Oh, actually, not usually. It is not bad right now, considering they have Baron. So that means we lost 3 of us. Um, but they lost 3 people with the Baron buff. So that is not bad at all. Um, especially because I got it off Jinx. Now, a couple of things to definitely keep in mind are that Mundo needs a Thornmail. He needs a Thornmail or a Randuin, not a Sunfire Cape. If you're going Mundo, unless you're like trying to actually actively kill people, do not get the Sunfire Cape. I'm not trying to say this to bash on this Mundo. I'm just saying this for you guys to know because that is not helping this game a lot at all. Um, he needs to just be straight tank. He does not need to worry about offensive stats in the slightest. Um, because it is just way too important right now to get all of this other shit. So let's see, we could try and do this. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can come shot her. That should be a lot of damage going off right there. Vi is going in, and I need to watch myself right here. This is a very important little scuffle. And fuck, dude, I don't have any MR. There's nothing I could do about that. Diana just kept jumping further and further on me. It's not looking like I may be able to carry this game. Um, which is a sad truth with Elise. Because Elise is a very, very good early game jungler. But it is, she is not a good late game carry. Um, <laughs> it's just simple truth right there. She is not good at carrying as the game goes longer, um, further and further on. Plus, their team is just too tanky. Mundo is misbuilding. Draven just finished his Phantom Dancer. Um, Nex didn't have time to really get huge. As you can see, he only has a non-scaled Magi's and whatever the rest of his build is. But that will actually be the end of this game, so that's going to be the end of it for us. And Sona, for something to have Lich Bane. That's whatever. I may have been able to do better that game had I gone for a Cinderhulk build. Not sure at all on that one. Not sure one bit. But it it's possible. It is definitely possible. Things to consider. Um, we tried our best, though. We tried our best. 
still a 15, 8, and 12 game where we were in 27 of our team's 31 kills. So overall, I don't think I could have really done a whole lot better myself that game. Like, there were some things that obviously I could have done better, of course. Um, but overall, I still feel like that was a pretty good game. Um, so hopefully you guys do still learn stuff out of that. I hope you guys did still enjoy it. Oh, let's check the damage real fast. I wonder how much damage I did. Yeah, I was very high up there. Very, very high up there. <laughs> I actually did more than their Jinx. That's... I did more than pretty much everyone on their team. So, wow. That was pretty good, though. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. I apologize for the loss. Uh, as you guys know, I post realistic videos, not fairy tale videos. So these things do happen. Like I said, though, I hope you do still find the enjoyment and the educational value out of this. And if you did, um, yeah, like I said, like a favorite really does. It really does help me. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. I do hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.